Oh, yes, we do. That is a major fire going on. Is the fire department going to show up, or are they just going to say, this shit, we're not going in? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to City Skylines. Jumping back into this game. Now, I know you guys haven't seen this in a little bit of time, and that's because uh, as I was getting ready to go on my vacation doing videos i just didn't have enough time to get to the city skylines which is why we had to take two days off there uh, with no videos because those were supposed to be the city skyline days but i have uh all done with traveling now i can i can assure you i'm extremely tired uh went back to california to see family and then i took off to new york for new years which was a pretty damn cool experience i'll probably explain this more in a doj video just because they're obviously a little more popular more people can hear about it uh, and all that fun stuff. So I want to focus on this. I also have to get this done relatively quick because I've got to take Tucker to the vet at 4.45 today. Uh, and it's now 2.54. So we've got uh, very limited time to make the video and also <laughs> edit it and all that fun stuff. So we last left off, if I'm not mistaken, doing uh, a lot of the freeway work. I want to also show you guys the map that I do on my laptop when I'm just kind of hanging out having fun. It's a really cool city. If you guys like it enough, maybe we could just adopt it into this since it's like all done here and we wouldn't have to go through the, the crap, but I'll have to let you guys see if that's something you guys want to do or not, or we can still continue to do this one. So to get this going today, oh good, $49,000 in debt. I guess it could be worse in the end of the day. To get this going today, we're going to start working. Oh man, I don't have any residential homes. That's the one thing about this uh, saved map is it doesn't like to push the residential as much as I would hope it would. Uh, on my other saved game, I have like just it, it's just max residential all the time. Uh, so I can always add houses down whenever it sees fit. So I guess if we can't do that, we'll go ahead and just continue to work on our road system. Uh, so that way we can get some more roads and stuff built. I'm thinking about making a connector here, so I'm going to take the eye uh, dropper thing and we're just going to make like a little neighborhood here that goes underneath this and we could just start filling it out. So that way, when we get to the point of more residential, at least we could fill it up pretty quick. Now, I say I've became pretty damn good at making sure uh, that the the intersections don't intersect too much. I probably could show that more on my other save game than this one because uh, this is where I just started kind of picking it up. But as you can see, there's very minimal intersections that kind of intersect. Yeah, you do have some, but this is also going into a residential. So it's not really crucial that we make sure that there's not too many. But I would say for the most part, uh, things is looking pretty damn good here. So I want to see if so. there's not much really I could do with this. I like the fact that I can get these residential places as close. So there's no dead space in between everything uh, kind of makes stuff look better when you actually get the houses all going. Because here you have some dead space because of the... Uh, the wires but in the end of the day it still kind of isn't too bad so we need to add some commercial zone we'll do low density just due to the fact that uh we don't have too big of a population here we're only at 5,000. my other one's at 75 if i'm not mistaken so you really do get that hustle and bustle feel of like an actual pretty big city here uh we have so much room that we could like work with oh you know what i could do why are those roads not connected oh yeah that's right i gave up because my brain started <laughs> hurting on uh, this freeway system here. Yeah, that makes sense. My shipping facilities have no water and I must have not ever added to those. So let's get some water added in, which means I most likely... No, I have power there. I just don't understand why I didn't add fucking water. Uh, let's get this set up. Now, I'm probably going to get... As you can see, I took away uh, freeway. And the reason why I took it away is because I feel like if we were to kind of redo what we did here, it'll make it look a little better. I would also like to put in the airport probably on this section of the island or, or maybe over here. I've kind of ruined some of the space though, so I might have to do it over here, uh, which would make it a little easier. So I get just kind of out of the way and shit. Um, so let's see what we could do here. So I'm gonna build this road. One nice big road. And then we're gonna try to look for the airplane stuff. I can't remember where exactly they put it in here. Ah, here we go. So I found the... Uh, Hell, uh, this is like the airplane stuff. So what I want to do is these are terminals. Uh, so we have just a regular airport here. These aren't as big as I would think that they would be. Um, but I guess at the end of the day, they are fairly large. So what I want to do is I'm just going to set this down for right the second. That way we can see how big some of these are in comparison to others. 
Uh, I don't think I just want a straight road like that. I feel like I want to kind of intertwine all of it. I'm going to pause the game too, so that way we don't have any issues. I want to just see how much fucking shit we're going to have to slam down here. Helicopter stop. I don't know, would it really be safe to have a helicopter stop next to <laughs> the fucking airport? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we could do here. I think I want to kind of move it as close to the freeway as possible. Uh, so what we should do is get ourselves some, like, airport roads. I would say there's so many fucking roads now. Here we got a four-lane road. We could use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a cutoff road right here. We're just going to follow this down. And we're going to try to get as much of this crap off to the fucking side as possible. So now I can move this. Maybe we could put slope is too steep. How? There we go. Okay, so now we have that. Now I can set up these kind of uh, in a better position. I'm not sure how these would work <laughs> being next to a full, full... I don't know why the game is taking a second to put those down, too. It's weird. Just move those over. That way they're kind of out of the way of all the shit and no one fucking gets killed by the helicopter and a plane colliding. Okay, so now we're going to need some water in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a very precise little water system in here since we have a very symmetrical road and we want to make sure it's all kind of connected so that way the water flow is good because uh, if you just have one that kind of goes off to the side like that that isn't really fresh water because it's cycling back in on itself so you always want to make sure everything is kind of connected in a closed thing and that's how I found I've really been able to minimize the amount of sick people uh, with the with the whole water shit that goes on we have a lot of room here that we can put like businesses and stuff coming into the city. Although it does look like a fucking mess. It it does work. So I guess that's a plus. Okay, that should be good enough for now. Uh, buildings are taken care of. We don't really need anything in the midst of the runway there. Uh, but, oops, excuse me. What we are we're going to need is power. So uh, what we could do is run some power here. All right, so what we could do is run some power here. I'm going to go ahead and take us some... Um, these things are drastically small. Holy shit. In comparison, I guess. There we go. And we're just going to go straight over to here. Give that some power. And uh, I guess what we could do is just continue to go down on this. That sounds so bad. Uh, we'll just continue to bring these power lines into an area where it actually gets power to the buildings. Um, I guess what I could do is just go from here to here. And then we could do here to here here and I should be able to just get that fucker right there and that uh, supplies power to that good so at least we have our helicopter or I'm sorry our uh, airport stuff all set up and good so that way we can get people traversing the land a lot faster I would say that's set up in a you know pretty cool way uh, to some extent we have a lot of abandoned buildings going on. I can almost assume it's because our population is oh shit we got to put more people down uh, so let's see where we can continue to build these neighborhoods. We have these that we can keep working on. I think I might... I'm trying to think where would be the next appropriate place to kind of continue to build. That's a lot of fucking housing, but hopefully it doesn't take too much of the green bar away. Like I said, I like to keep that maxed out. That way, if I want to drop houses at any point, I could easily do so. I would say our power grid is pretty much good. I could probably delete most of these things now. We might as well do that. I am going to delete it. Yes, yes. We could check the power afterwards and see if they're about to lose power up in this bitch. That should make them a little happier, though, because those do have a radius for noise pollution, which I would assume would get a little bit annoying. Uh, most of the city does have um, power lines going through it, so I guess that is a plus here. I would like to connect these if possible. Let's connect these. Really, I can't connect the dots. Are you kidding me? Damn, just that little bit of residential right there took fucking half of our residential status away which is a little bit insane uh we have a lot of fucking abandoned houses i feel like houses are stuff that we do have to get rid of though that way they can uh you know rebuild with you know more houses different people and all that stuff businesses i don't really touch because it seems like you guys said uh, they just rebuild them anyways and bring them back uh, but we need more of a population so that way our buildings don't just fucking start shitting itself so just for shits and giggles so that way we weren't trapped after the fact i made a little road that goes over the freeway here uh that way we can continue to build into this new area fairly well without any obstructions or anything like that i feel like when i try to 
Yeah, it's not as bad, I guess, as it could be. All right, so now we have the road there. It's not operating, operating. It says it's operating, but I haven't seen any planes flying or anything like that, like my old one. Uh, we got the ports working, so that's good. We gave them power and all that stuff. Oh, I forgot I did the, uh, the bridge to get there. That's kind of dope, actually. Or not the bridge, the tunnel to get there. That's like the first time I've ever used the tunnel in this game, so kind of nice to be able to, to see it actually working. Wow, we are just having shit belly up right now, dude. Not enough educated workers. Okay, well, we have enough schooling going on, so the Tuckerville Institute is still at one star unrecognized at this point. You know what they say. Uh, there's so many more buildings that we could do for the university, though, um, that I guess we could start slamming them in here if possible. Some of them are fairly big, though, so we've got to be careful because they, they do end up taking a lot of room. I think this is a groundskeeping. Yeah. But most of them are fairly small, so we can kind of just fill it in on the spaces that we have not used yet. This is where it shit starts getting big, though. See, I actually like my little walkway that I did. That shit's fancy, so I want to try to keep that. So we're not going to do that. Oh, damn. I still would have to cut away my walkway, dude. Ooh, I could barely fit that bitch in there without getting rid of anything, so I'll do it. Uh, let's see what else we could slam in here. The more buildings we have, I think the better the uh, campus becomes and more people obviously are attracted to it. So that's, you know, important that we go ahead and add as much stuff as we can. I just don't want to take away my cool little walkways that I built because uh, that, that shit was fancy. I didn't even do that on my other one. Oh, I can add it to that? Oh, shit. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't know I could add them to the uh, trail walkways that I did. That's a massive fucking building. So what I think we're going to need to do is probably make the college a little bit bigger here. I'm sorry, the institute a little bit bigger. I'm going to upgrade this road. I can't upgrade it because it's not even a fucking road to upgrade in the first place. And we're going to make this an extended road here. That way I can uh, have a little bit more room to work with with the uh, campus. Now what I'm going to do is just build a road to go down too. So that way, in case I need to continue with the uh, overall layout of this shit. At least we have enough room. So it has to be in the campus area. So what we have to do is we've got to go into our district thing here. And we've got to look for... Got to look for campus. Okay, paint campus area. So we're just going to make it a little bit bigger. This is a massive campus area we have going on, though. I kind of like it. Uh, I have not worked with one this big before. I'm going to go ahead and get a little park in here in the corner. Even though it really doesn't do much for the uh, university portion of it. But, you know. Oh, I can't stop sneezing. This is fucked. Dude, so many fucking buildings. Holy shit. And they're all just massive as fuck. I'm going to delete this. Uh, just get it a little closer to the corner here. Oh, shit. Which one? Okay. That is a lot of fucking buildings. <laughs> like the campus just grows exponentially when it gets towards the south end of it. Okay. So that's looking good enough for now. We do have some more buildings, but uh, they're rather small. I could probably fit them in here. Put that there. We've got like a nice little mini park. There we go. A little something something. I can always change that around as time goes on, but I think it looks much better. You know, it'd be nice if we could put a building in this fourth quadrant here. So that way it kind of uh, makes everything very symmetrical. I bet you I could even put that there, but eh, we're running the risk of not having shit fit. So we still got a little more room to... What is that? The University uh, Media Lab? Interesting. Okay, that should definitely help out our area uh, to kind of keep growing. Wow, look at our demand. is so big. Okay, we're going to do some of these. Let's get that gone. Uh, I want to fill out some of these neighborhoods as best as possible. I have a feeling that's going to take a fat chunk of uh, the residential away by doing that. I'm going to add in a few more low-density buildings. Uh, that way the game can eat that up and get those gone. I wonder if our planes are taking off yet. Our planes have yet to take off. I don't know if we just don't have a big enough population or that or what the deal is, but it's like people aren't even driving in that area at all. Not many people seem to be leaving 
the city. Oh, we got this one lone cop ranger who's fucking going in there. We do have parked cars, though, so I guess that is a plus uh, that we do have parked cars. It's just weird that we don't see any people flying or anything yet, but I guess there's a reason for it. I just don't know. Maybe zero population. Uh, but I'm glad we do have police presence down here, which does remind me I probably should add in some law enforcement uh, facilities down here. That way... Oh, there's a lot of people driving. Where's he going? Hold on. I just am curious where he's going. Owner, police headquarters. He's a what? He's the owner of the police headquarters? What does the load mean? I've never seen that before. Well, at least he's doing his job. Okay, so I think we're good. I don't know why that's not started. Hopefully at some point it will start kicking up. Damn, that takes so much of our residential away. But they are filling it up pretty quick, though, so I guess that's a plus. So I'm going to just continue. I want to work my way into this neighborhood. We've got so much left uh, of it to do here. So I want to try to fill out as much. We've got our fucking industrial area, which honestly, they haven't really made me do any industrial. I have like four fucking industrial buildings. No, I don't even think I have that much. Yeah, I have like four. That's kind of sad. Maybe five. Uh, but, you know, we're not getting places with the industrial. That's for sure. God Damn, this thing. The incineration plant is fucking pollution central, dude. We're going to try to get rid of that. That way it cleans up some of that grass. I don't mind. Ooh. I wonder if it can pollute the water from there. Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe like right. God damn. Look at that. I'll put it right in the middle. That way it kind of pollutes it in that fashion instead of just fucking a huge mess right there. We have got our population into about 5,371 though. So that was a massive jump. Unfortunately, that took all of our rent, uh, residential housing away, which is kind of silly. Uh, so I'm just going to keep working on low density businesses here, which is probably going to be a bad idea. Just considering the fact that when you don't have many educated workers or a big population, those buildings are going to die fucking quick. On the other map that I've been working on, I've actually managed to get the buildings uh, like the work buildings to not go abandoned. And that's just because we have so many educated people that the educated people just flock there like almost instantly. Um, same with the schools. It has such a big population that you plant, uh, plant a school down and within five seconds, the school is already completely filled up. So I can't say the same about this one. Uh, let's see. What do our schools look like right now? Okay, we got one here. It's going to be 150 out of 300 students. So we have about half capacity on that one, which is a little unfortunate. We've got a... 204 students out of 800. Just lost one, actually, when I checked on that. Three students out of 4,000 in the Modern Technology Institute, which has just got awful. 249 out of 1,000. So honestly, we could be doing a lot better when it comes to the amount of uh, students that we have in the school, but I don't think there's much we could do right this second. This one has a lot, 356, uh, even though I'm used to seeing like 900. So hopefully we can get those get those up here. This fucking college has like no one though. No one's got to the point where they can go to college, which is a little unfortunate. We got planes taken off. That means we are active on our airport, which is really good. That means we've got people coming in and out of the city. It's looking good. Uh, population growth uh, plus like 150 since the last time that we checked in. Definitely not bad. Now we really need to focus on workers, but we can't do much until we get a bigger population. So, uh, oh, I can drop more houses. Got some more residential laid down over here. Uh, they're slowly building at it though. Man, I just dropped barely any, and they just suck up all the goddamn residential that I could fucking use, which is really stupid, honestly. I wish there was, like, an unlimited residential that you could just drop. It would make things go so much faster. I'd have a bustling city in, like, four episodes type shit. Uh-oh. Forgot to give these guys power over here. That's my bad. I believe I'm going to need to add some, uh some like, I don't know, either a crematorium or something because there's like a lot of dead bodies over here that need to be picked up and they are not going anywhere. So hopefully that helps out the situation over in this area with just as many fucking people that need to be picked up. I apologize if you guys hear dogs barking. Everyone seems to be going fucking crazy right now. Um, okay, let's see. So we'll have to probably give that a little bit of time to get some dead bodies picked up. Uh, I would like to keep working on my residential areas here. I'm uh, I'm a little concerned that it's taken so long. I'm going to probably do like quadrants here. So that way it doesn't take up all the goddamn fucking the shit I have. I'm going to also keep going on uh, neighborhoods here. I'm going to do a free roam. That way we can really 
hug this uh, curve that's going on. And we can go ahead and bring this back down here. We'll put a 90 degree in. It's going to be a little bit of a... Uh, I don't need to... I don't like to have dead space if possible, so we might as well just fix it up so we don't have any. I would assume that's going to be our best bet right there. Okay, so what I do too, so this is where I try to be smarter than the game when it comes to intersections. As you can see, this isn't really labeled an intersection, it's more of a turn. We have an intersection here. If I were to connect this road here, we would have intersection, intersection, a very small interval, which honestly, if you need them, you can. It's not like it's a bad thing. Like here we have intersections really close, but that's sometimes how you have to make roads. There's not really any other ways. Like this separation of a, of a intersection is not uh, bad at all. It's actually really good. We have a little bit of congestion right here, but for the most part, I've tried to keep it as open as possible. Uh, this is a very bad one right here, but there's only so much you could do with two main roads that kind of have to connect at some point. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I'm going to keep up with my residential areas. So that way we have less um, congestion going on with the road system. And then what I do is I'll come down here and I'll kind of connect the roads as such. So that way we do have points where someone can kind of get around faster. And they don't have to worry about being trapped inside uh, this area, which I might actually do one more right there. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Then I could just get rid of that. I don't know. I feel like I want to have it look somewhat symmetrical, though. And I'm going to also do this for up here. So that way they can just access the neighborhood a little bit easier. Obviously, people that live on this uh, street right here will have to only get in one way, but... You know, that's just how it goes sometimes. All right, we're looking good. We got a lot of neighborhood to work up. I can envision this when it's all done. It looks so good. It looks so good when everything's full. And then we kind of spill off and work over there. Spill off and work over here. We already got a freeway system uh, that's set up and ready to go for industrial areas over in the yonder as well, too. Uh, I'd say we're doing pretty goddamn good. I would like to get a free... Oh, excuse me, a freeway exit. So I might actually do that right this second. Let's see if we can find an exit ramp. Uh, have I done an exit ramp? I don't think so. So we're going to have to go freeway. National road. Two lane highway. I think two lane highway might be a little big. I think I want to do a one way. But we'll have to see here. There we go. So we have our exit. Oh my god, it's going right over the freeway, dude. I'm going to put it on the curved row, too. That way I can kind of have it look a little better as it goes down this. Bam. That's a, that's a fucking massive exit. But I guess at this point, there's only so much you can do. At least it'll allow people to exit uh, the freeway and go straight into the airport area uh, to, to allow them to use that. I don't know if they're going to use it. This is kind of one of the issues that I've always had is I've built exit points. And for some reason traffic really doesn't take it i think that's because they're programmed to probably go somewhere else oh they're like completely avoiding that last lane for whatever reason which i guess makes sense it's a turn lane so oh we've got all airports pumping out fucking uh, airplanes at this point so that's that's really good residentials back up so we can go ahead and add some more we have so much fucking area to do residential here it's kind of concerning uh like i just i ugh, i want to fill it out so bad but there's not much i could do just get some over here might as well uh we had like a little spill off i don't want them to try to build micro homes in those areas because that's definitely not what we want well they didn't take long for that uh <laughs> that pollution to go away at all what the fuck it is like absolutely gone i put in a little uh fan zone park here so that way people can kind of go in there and have some fun probably not in the best area but it does have noise pollution so we've got to watch out for the noise that we're making in residential areas so i didn't want to go too crazy and put it like in the center because then that probably wouldn't be good at all um okay so let's uh continue to see what we got going here there's not much i could do i guess i could do more residential thankfully let's just get this all filled in and we've got more over here this goes to the institute i'm going to try to keep this road clear so that way the road looks very you know professional going into it uh, but we've got all this over here that we could fill in and my main goal is to get all this taken care of. Actually, I'm not sure I'm going to do housing on the outside road, but the uh, inside row here definitely needs to have housing, so that way it kind of wraps up this neighborhood. Let's do all of this stuff. There we go. It is loud there. That does not sound like a residential home. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? Holy shit. We have a building on fire, too. 
Oh, yes, we do. That is a major fire going on. Is the fire department going to show up, or are they just going to say, fuck this shit, we're not going in? Uh, fire departments. So let's see. Do we even have... I guess I could put one there on the outside, so that way they could just deploy stuff quickly to that main road, and then go off into all the other sections, which would make sense. Oh, shit, we got people using the exit ramp, too. Okay, so it is working, so that's a plus, uh, which means people are able to get there faster. I would like to get it more open up, too. So that way it kind of all intersects with each other, but we can just save that for another episode to get like this area connected to this area and all that fun stuff. Uh, probably with just main roads, not why in the fuck. You have power though, bro. What are you doing? Oh, uh, it's probably losing some of the uh, power grid there. Now, I just want to let you guys know this might be a shorter episode, but I still have to take Tucker to the vet and I still have to do some more videos today and the energy level is at an all time low uh with basically not sleeping for 48 hours because we had a layover and a flight cancellation and just no time to sleep in between which was definitely pretty shitty uh so i just wanted to throw that out there we're gonna keep working on it just a little though i got residential that's just booming right now and that's what i want to see so i'm gonna try to get as much of this started as possible so that way when we come back we could just you know straight down this fucking neighborhood just get houses and people in there uh, we got a little very, very small area of uh, commercial zone that we're going to try to put up. Let's see. I wish these abandoned built. Oh, God, there's so many. Uh, I don't like it, but uh, there's not much I could do. And we just don't have many educated people, unfortunately. Well, since we've got some time here, I'm going to build this main road out. So that way people can get from uh, the north side to the south side fairly easily. Now, what we have to do here is we've got to build a bridge to get over this. Oh, you know what I could do? I could do a tunnel. I'm actually really enjoying the tunnel stuff that we've been doing. So let's continue. Is that a freeway? Oh, shit. Oh, no. it's a, it, it looks like that because it's uh, exiting from a bridge. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Can I go two? No. Oh, right under the fucking freeway, bro. Hell yeah. And we're going to pop back up. Bam. That is how you do it. That, that is fucking great because before I used to have to fuck all my shit up. I'd put a freeway down. I'd have to put it over it and shit like that, which it does work like to go over the uh, railroad track. Probably could have just done a tunnel. But in the end of the day, I guess a bridge would would be a little bit better. Not in any way, shape or form. But you know what they say, right? Uh, but now we got that connected. So I'm going to leave that road kind of just open. So that way, whenever we get uh, to the point where we start building this area, this is going to be a very beautiful fucking city, though, uh, with just the way it's kind of trapped in with the freeway system. We'll have a lot of points to get on and off to the freeway, which will get them to the other parts of the city. Literally no problem. Look at that maxed. And I even put down all that other shit, dude. Hell yeah. That's why I like to work at it slow, because it, it, it just it doesn't fucking take away the whole bar of progression that you can use to fucking get houses in. And look at this. This fucking uh, community now is actually really full. I'd say this is the fullest community that we have. Just very tight. Uh, there's a lot of dead space in areas like this. Like, I would have preferred to not have all this extra green. And the reason why is because uh, that's all an important area that you could use to fucking build. So I guess what I could do is I could do this. Just try to get a few more fucking houses in there. You know what I mean? Better than nothing. There we go. I don't know if they're even going to fill that out, but they usually do put some small, tiny homes there to kind of fill it out a little bit more. Mm, still fully good on the green, too, and I believe that they're just fucking going forth with it. So let's put some... Uh, I'm going to just go over to the paint bucket here. Uh, low low density re uh, commercial zones. Although we, we probably don't want to add too many because we're just they're all going to belly up because we have no workers that can go in there because our population is just not that big. Wow, we're up to 6,200. I think we started this at 47... Uh, got up to about 53 when I last checked, and now we're at 62. So the population is bustling pretty fucking big there. We've got to make sure we get entertainment, and we also have to make sure that we do parks as well, too. Parks are a very crucial thing. Uh, I think it would be this. So we should just get some small parks in here uh, before we drop all the housing. That way, everyone can go to the parks and kind of enjoy them. Um, and, and we don't have to worry about taking away residential homes. I did that before where I built like half the city and then I was like, oh shit, I didn't have any parks. So I had to go home and actually remove a lot of houses just to put the parks in there when I could have done it all backwards and not have to gone to that. So glad we're thinking about that prior instead of, uh, after the fact, because that, it just doesn't turn out to be a good fucking thing. Uh, still good on the residential. We are getting to the point where it's starting to chip away. 
So we want to slow down. I just want to get this whole row taken care of like so fucking bad right here. Because it will just fill out this whole neighborhood so well. Still got a huge demand for residential. So I say we just knock this sucker out really quick. Just oh, like fucking just attacking it. As soon as they get permitted, they're like on it. I'm on it. Um, we got to fill out this business area as well too. But I'm kind of stuck with... Uh, with that bar so i can't really do much right now they are filling it up though so this neighborhood is practically complete i don't think there's any other areas that i could fill out as of right this second so we're definitely making some fucking good progress oh fuck dude you could tell it's it's hustle time in the game uh because it's allowing me to drop so much residential and it just fills back up it means that the game's ready for more people to be in the city uh, then for me to build, which is good. So probably building a little, you know, filling that area, building a little filling that is probably the best way to go about it um, in the end of the day. But I would say just from a broad view, at like this view right here at least, when you go too far back, it looks small. Um, it, def it definitely looks good. I actually like this city. It reminds me very much so of my other one, but I would say a refined version just because I have been able to put what I've learned in my other saved games into this one for everyone. So that way it's not like horribly bad or anything. Uh, is anyone taking this freeway yet? I don't think anyone has taken this big fucking absurd freeway, which is unfortunate. How is this even going to? Oh yeah, they would split off from there, which would bring them all the way down to the south end of the map. They do some crazy ass loop over the water and then they could either split off, which would be the most dangerous split off ever, uh, into the right side of the map. Which uh, probably we could do a... Probably want to start making some exit ramps and stuff. You know what I mean? That way we kind of know where we're going to have it break off into the city. Okay, yeah, I think that looks good. It would be nice to get some exit ramps here as well too. We can't really do much since we are elevated right there. Which is unfortunate that I decided to do that. But I guess I had no choice but to elevate it the whole time, possibly. I don't know why the fuck I did that, but okay. I guess it's just elevated. So we're not going to... Can we do a exit? I guess we could. We just have to have it... Uh, we'll just have to go down with it here. Let's see. Down. There we go. That works. You know what I should do, too, is uh, I should focus on making exit points on all the fucking freeways instead of just... Oh shit, what did I do? I broke it. Uh, instead of just like the... Ugh. I wish there was a better way to make freeway exits though. Let's let's just be honest here. See, because then I did it all fucked up. It has to be like perfect. And if you don't get it perfect, then you're just sitting there and it looks stupid. See, if I get another exit here, then we can at least attach some of this uh, other part to the freeway system. Which I'm, I'm sure wouldn't be the... Oh, you know what I should do? I should do this. Oh, fuck. We're breaking everything, goddammit. Just for this one little off-ramp is fucking ridiculous. Okay, so that's going to be good enough for now. It's being fucking weird, and it makes me... It wants it to go back towards the freeway. Uh, that's because it wasn't placed perfectly, I guess. But that's good enough for right this second. Uh, so we've got our exits. Uh, it would be nice to get some on-ramps going as well, too. Uh, but that's neither here nor today. We could do that for another episode. We still got full demand for... Holy shit, everything's on fire, bro. What in the holy fucking fruit cocktail is going on over here? I gotta put a... We're gonna put a firehouse down right there. That way that whole neighborhood's good. Oh, good. They've completely lost their home to a fucking fire. So that's fantastic. Um, okay. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep putting down residential, even though you could clearly see that we are burning down all the residential that we're trying to put down in the first place. Damn! That's one big-ass block, but I don't want to do that. Because that's going to take everything. You already know it. We're going to go half. Oh, my God. I love how they instantly eat it up, dude. That's how you know the demand is as high as it gets right there. Absolutely as high as it gets. Uh, I think that's going to have to be where we wrap this one up. Nice little short episode. Uh, tomorrow's episode is going to be DOJ. The day after that will be City Skylines again, since I know you guys have missed this and want to see it. So I'll go ahead and give you guys two episodes of that, and then we'll go back into our regular videos that we would make. Uh, with City Skylines mixed in. Nonetheless, I adore this game. You don't have to worry about it going anywhere. I know a lot of people comment and go, no more City Skylines. Sometimes I just can't get around to making it uh, like I would have hoped. It was a lot easier to do, you know, the Crew 2 and Rainbow Six and all that, or the Crew 2, Rainbow Six and uh, LSPDFR than it was to get in here and do some City Skylines, unfortunately. But we're back and we're going to keep building this. I also want to show you guys the saved game I have just so you guys can check it out and see what I have done on my own time. 
Uh, it's pretty impressive, I gotta say. Or at least for me, it's impressive because I'm I'm not used to doing games like this. And when you see everything just kind of amazing looking, uh, it just it is really satisfying. So we have another fire going on over here. So what I'm gonna do is just drop a firehouse. I can't remember where it was exactly. Might have already went out. I don't know why fires are so rampant right now, but you gotta love it. All right. So nonetheless, that is gonna be where we wrap it up on this episode of City Skylines. Getting in to complete, uh, to com continue to complete our city here i would say we're almost halfway uh with with uh construction on it and it's looking pretty damn good i've done fairly well so nonetheless thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of city skylines and we will see you next video